Yo, it's April 23rd today and TRAB, uh, which is the Toronto Real Estate Board, they just came out with the first quarter rental market report for 2021. So this covers all rentals in Toronto and the GTA for January, February, and March and breaks down all the stats for this specific time frame. Um, but before diving into the numbers, my name is Trey Folks, as you all know, and I sell real estate here in the city of Toronto in the GTA. So if you or anyone you know are looking to make a move, whether that's uh, buying, selling, or renting, then hit up Carl or myself and the folks team will get you set up. Okay, so getting right into it, the average price of a one bedroom unit is sitting at $1,820 right now uh, in 2021. A year ago, this number was sitting at $2,187. Um, so we're down about 17% in terms of price, but that's obviously only one piece of the picture. Um, if we switch gears and look at the actual number of units leased during the same time frame, the real estate market actually experienced a record in this category. Uh, so there were almost 13,200 units leased out in the first quarter. So January, February, and March, um, this year in 2021. And this same number last year uh, was sitting at 7,250 units. So yes, there's a lot going on in the rental market in Toronto, uh, downtown Toronto and the GTA, of course. Renters are still in the driver's seat. They're still calling the shots. Um, I personally have been able to negotiate very favorable prices for some of my most recent clients that are looking to rent. Uh, sometimes you run into situations where there's a very unique unit um, that ends up having a lot of offers on it. This situation may make it a little harder for you to negotiate a price below uh, what the actual list price is. But in general, um, if you're a renter, there's still so many opportunities for you to choose from. As you can see, there have been 13,200 units almost that have been leased out in the first quarter alone in 2021. Looking at two bedrooms now, uh, these are sitting at an average price of $2,450 in Q1. Um, and last year, this number was just above the 2,800 mark. Um, if you need parking included, then obviously things could be a little more expensive. Um, but if you're planning to move downtown with a roommate, with a friend, uh, or with a significant other, then you'll be able to save quite a bit of money which should always be uh, priority number one when you're renting. Lastly, uh, the biggest reason for this huge opportunity in favor of renters right now is due to the oversupply of listings available. Um, you've heard me say it a million times. There's just so much to look at if you're a renter in Toronto in the GTA. I just went over that there were 13,000 units leased out during the first quarter this year. Um, but what's even more crazy is if you really look into it, there were 28,700 units listed for rent alone um, during this same time frame. So um, as you can see, landlords are tossing their investment properties up uh, for rent very quickly right now. Um, if you're looking to have an investment property in the future, uh, make sure that you keep it unique, please. Uh, please, 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 I can't stress this enough. Keep it well maintained. Uh, make sure that you're repairing the unit if it was currently tenanted. Paint it, uh, sweep it, keep it spotless after all showings. These things really do go a long way um, and will allow you to rent out your unit a lot quicker um, and not have it sit on the market and get stale. That's it, uh, that's all I got for you. That was our rental market report for the first quarter in 2021. Um, as always, thank you to everyone who's showing us love. Keep doing your thing and continuing to kill it. Um, and lastly, remember to trust the process and fall in love with your journey.